Hey, I'm Jacob. This is the Preppers Bunker Outdoors. We're going to do Tactical Tuesday a little bit early. I'm going to solve the mass murder gun problem without violence. Hear me out. Last night in Las Vegas, we had another mass murder by another coward. Okay? 400, I believe it was that I saw 400 shot. 50 or more dead. There are two ways that these mur mass murders will stop. And I guarantee you that they'll stop. The first way is that everybody stops giving up their responsibility to self-defense, carries a gun, and refuses to patronize any company that has a no-gun zone policy or sign. Can you bring guns in? Yeah, of course you can. We all know you can. I've gone to concerts with guns before, and I've gone into gun-free restaurants with guns before, and I don't care because I'm not going anywhere without a gun. But when you patronize them, when you give them your money, you tell them that that's okay. All right? So if you refuse to go anywhere that is a target-rich environment, which is what a gun-free zone is, and they feel it in the pocketbook, if America comes together and stops screwing around and putting their families and their own selves at risk, these places will disappear. Because nobody actually cares about any moral standpoint. They only care about your money. All right, the second way, and the more realistic way, is that any venue that does not have enough security to adequate, adequately handle a mass shooting should be held directly liable. So all of these venues all say the same thing. It's for insurance purposes. Oh, we get an insurance discount for being a gun-free zone. Okay, well... If insurance has to directly pay for the deaths of 50 people in the medical bills and lifetime trauma of 400 people, that's not going to be a discount anymore. It's all about the money. So here's the deal. If you take away my self-defense, you have to adequate... Oh, and first off... You can't take away my responsibility. That's one of the first things that you learn as an adult is that you can delegate a task but not the responsibility. So uh, first off, if I, I disarm myself and give, try to give the responsibility or the task of my self-defense and my family's self-defense to security and security fails, it's still my fault. But let's say I do that. Okay, I better, there better be one armed guard for every 10 people. Boy, that would be expensive and that would be great for the veteran community who's, uh, who's looking for a, uh, a job where they can have a trigger. Or, that's if you make it a gun-free zone. So if you make it a gun-free zone... You take away people's right and responsibility for self-defense, any people that are stupid enough to actually do it. If you do that, then you are responsible for their well-being financially if something goes wrong. Okay, so now I run a uh, shop. I run a mall, okay? Insurance company gives me a couple options. Okay, you can be a gun-free zone, but if you're a gun-free zone, you have to have one armed security guard patrolling per 10 customers that would normally walk through your door at any given time. That's freaking expensive. How about I just let people have responsibility for their own well-being? You see, what's sick and disgusting about this whole thing is that People want 
to give away their responsibility for self-defense to somebody else because they don't want to defend themselves. In doing so, they make a more dangerous environment for everybody. They place a target on their own heads. And, uh, geez. It's just a terrible situation, guys. And the thing with these mass murderers is that they are all cowards. This dude, like every other one, pretty much, offs himself. You know, we always get the argument, uh, well, if you had everybody armed, then it would just become a wild, wild west shootout. Well, first off, the person who says that has been educated by Hollywood, which is part of the problem. Uh, the wild, wild west certainly got rough. There's certainly shootouts. But it wasn't some Rambo crap like Hollywood would leave you, lead you to believe. Not as a rule. Second off, show me an instance in a modern armed society where that's happened. Ever. Show me an instance where instead of 400 people being shot and 50 people being killed, 400 people were shot and 50 people were killed by each other, shooting it out like Wild Wild West. Never happened. Never will happen, because as much as people want to say how stupid everybody else is, they think themselves to be pretty smart, and they realize that they, even with no training, can probably assess the situation a whole lot better than that. So, when you go to a gun-free zone, whether or not you're carrying a gun... You are paying that company and saying that this is okay. If you stop doing that, if every gun owner in America refuses to go to any gun-free establishment and give them their money, gun-free establishments will disappear and will be better off for it. Or, legally, if you want to take away someone else's right to their self-defense, then you are personally liable for their safety and well-being. That will get the problem solved real quick because nobody's going to want to foot the bill for the security. And if they do, whew, nobody's going to want to foot the bill for one of these mass murders happening. Guns can always get in. Bad people can always get guns. So take responsibility for yourself. I come from these small towns where everybody's like, I don't need to carry a gun. I live in a small town. Okay, well, in this small town, at a football game, a four-year-old girl was kidnapped 20 feet from her parents while they, weren't, while they didn't notice because she was with friends or friends' family. And 20 minutes later... They found her raped and dead in a creek, you know, a hundred yards away. So people say, I live in a small town, you know, I've never seen a shooting. Okay. Do you know someone who you think's a little bit crazy? The answer is yes. All right. Do people do drugs in your town? The answer is yes. If the answer is no to either of those questions, you don't live on this planet. If the answer is yes to either of those questions, then the possibility of violent and deadly account encounters is 100% in that area. Therefore, if you are a responsible adult, American or human being, you will carry a gun. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope that you think about this, and I hope that you stop giving money to these bastards who would see you dead before losing a cent of money. Have a blessed day.